so I've got two lefts in my left hand, so I've got two lefts together. I haven't taken this left and then that left, because now I'm twisting it all up at the bottom. So I've got two lefts. In my right hand, guess what I want? Right. Two, I don't know. two rights. To which side of these lefts do you think they are? Am I going to pick these two rights? No. I'm going to pick these two rights. I'm going to pick the two rights to the right of the left. Right. Yeah? So there should be here, somewhere, two rights. So that one is a right. Yes. This one here is a right. Yes. Yes. So in my right hand I've got two rights. In my left hand I've got two lefts. The lefts are on the left side. The rights are on the right side. So I don't want to see it. Two lefts in my left hand, two rights in my right hand. With the first tuck, uh, we go through under the standing part in pairs. Yeah? So we take whichever is closest to the standing part. So when I'm splicing from right to left, the lefts are closest to the standing part. Does that make sense? Yes. If I was splicing from left to right, then it would be the right star closest. Right. Yeah? If the lefts are closest, I'll start with the two lefts. Left, yeah. I form my eye, yeah. and I'm going to put two lefts under the two right lefts, hand side. Two lefts. Two lefts. So two lefts. lefts go under lefts. Guess which direction they go? Left side. Again. Left. Left. So yeah. with. They go oh, with. With. Oh, with. So always remember, you're following the lay of the rope. Yeah? Yeah. Or the strands in the rope, should I say. So two left-handed lay, go under two left-handed lay, and go to the left. Yeah, so if you've got this rotated round the wrong way around, you're going 90 degrees to the lay of the rope, that's wrong. Yeah, so we want to go to the left, under two lefts. So I'll bring my two lefts through. I then work our way up the rope to the next pair. So I went under two lefts, the next pair on this side of the rope is two rights. So I now take my two rights. They go under two rights. Which direction? The right side. Yeah. Right side. Right side. Left hand, dead left, right, left side, go to left side. Once yes. you've got them both through, you can pull that eye nice and tight. So that we avoid confusion, before I do the same on the other side, I'm going to take this pair and this pair that I've just spliced through and I'm just going to put an overhand on. 11 mil pins. 11 mil, right. right. Okay, cheers, Peter. Yeah, I'm just going to tie them off with an overhand on. Yeah. I'm then going to rotate the whole thing 180 degrees. Now my working end is on the left side. Left side. The standing part is on the right side. When I'm lying it down on the desk, I'm making sure I've got the right-handed strands on the right side the left handed strands on the left no, side. Sir. Yeah? It's not sat like that. It's sat like this. So I'm splicing it to the opposite side. Yep. Yeah? The four strands on the other side will only ever get spliced into the other side of the rope. These four strands on this side will only ever get spliced into that side of the rope. They're not gonna start jumping over onto the other side. So now with my right hand, what do I want? Right Two side rope. Right hand lay the rope. Right hand lay rope, so I've got two rights together. Yeah. Right. In my left hand. Left hand. Left hand rope. Left, left, left. Two left, left. Got two left as well. Left. Two left, left. So this time, the closest to the standing part is going to be right, right, right hand. So I'm going to pick some right-handed pairs on the standing part, uh, ideally right next to the lefts on the other side. So I'm going to pick this pair of rights here. That's too far up. Yes. This is maybe too far down. Yes. That's about just exactly. right. Yeah. Have you ever heard the story of the three little birds? Is it the golden lots and the three birds? No. Three little birds. So two rights under two rights going to the right. Side. Right. I then go to the next pair. So this is right on the left. We've got lefts. So I now open up the left strands, I then take my two left strands, going under left strands, going to the to the left. Side. left. 
Again, once I've got them pulled through, pull it all, pull them nice and tight. Pull them nice and tight. Now it's symmetrical all the way around. That's the first lay, sorry, first tuck complete. Gets a little bit more complicated now, because instead of going through as pairs, we now go through individually. Okay. Yeah. So we need to understand some nautical terminology. Um, imagine a centre line running down through that uh, standing line. part. Yeah. These strands on the inside, closest to the centre line, would be inboard strands. Yeah. Yes. These strands further out, we we'll call them outboard, outboard strands. Yeah. On the standing part. Same on the working end. So these two are inboard strands. These two outboard, outboard strands. Yeah. We're going to work our way up the rope to the next pair. So on this particular side, we started off with rights, didn't we? Then we went to left. So now we're going to this pair of rights. We're going to take the inboard right on the working end. It's going to go underneath the inboard right on the standing part. Which direction does it go? To the right. To the right, yeah. So I open up this inboard right. Take the inboard right. It goes to the right. Now I'm not going to pull it through too tight because I want to move it out of the way so I can get the outboard right under that, only under that outboard right going to the right. So right, under right, going to the right. If I hadn't moved that out of the way, they can get crossed over and then now this appears to be the end. The outboard, yeah. So if you want to, as soon as you put that inboard one through, you move it across the centre to the opposite side. You don't pull it too tight until you can get this one through. You pull that one tight, the outboard one tight, then the inboard one tight, yeah. So the inboard one is still on the inboard side. The outboard one is still, still on the outboard, outboard side. side. Yeah? They're not, they're not crossing over, yeah. On the left side, because we're now to the left pair, we take the inboard left. And we go up to the next pair of lefts. Inboard. So another mistake sometimes people make is they'll skip a pair out. For some reason they'll skip those out and they'll put it under here. You know, I want the next pair. Or another mistake people make is they go back through a pair that they've already spliced through. So they'll go under there. Yeah, so I go to the next pair. So inboard left, yeah, this one. Inboard left on the working end. So how yeah. I know this one is inboard? Just because how it's sitting, it's sitting closer I to this centre line. It cannot be in both this one. No, because it's it's no. it's further over that way. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if this is outboard, <laughs> this is inboard. Yeah. So I'm taking inboard left, uh, under inboard left, going to the left. Again, I'm not pulling it too tight, but what I am doing, I'm getting it across to the opposite side. So I can now open the outboard left. Take the outboard left under the outboard left, going to the left, left, and pull that tight. Then I can pull that tight finally. Get them all tight. That's the carry on like second. That. Sorry. You just carry on like that. No, you do no more than two on one side before you then. Put but yeah, the but obviously bit. the same on the other side. Yes. Yeah. Where does the Swedish fit come in? When I start struggling to. Use my fingers as really bits. Yeah. Okay. So when I probably probably when I get to the third and probably on the newer line. Yeah. When I get to the third tuck on the other side, I'll probably start needing a fit. So I've finished the second tuck on this side. Yeah. Again, before I flip it over, I'm just going to tie these four strands in an overhand knot. Get back onto this side. Now when this side we've only done uh, the first tuck. This side we started on the left. Then we went to the right. So we're back to the left here, yeah. Um, now here, either one of these two could be inboard and outboard. Like you were saying, if, it, if it's clear that one's the inboard, if not, then make a decision. So I've moved that one more inboard. So that one's clearly the inboard one now. Uh, this side, I would say, I would say that's the inboard one, yeah. Understood? Yes. So I'm onto the left now, yeah. Went through this pair as a pair, this pair now individually. Start with the left, under a left, 
pull it through. Not too Pardon. tight just yet. You just move it out, out the way, the opposite side. Outboard. Outboard left. Under and outboard left. I can pull this tight. Then pull that tight. Now I'm on the, the rights. So I've went through here as a pair. Now I'm going through these yes. two individually. Now I'm going to probably leave the thread. Yeah. So I'm opening up just the inboard right. I'm taking the inboard right strand, going to the right. Yeah. Pull it through again. Not, not too tight. Move it across out of the way so I can get the outboard right. Outboard right, going under the outboard right to the right. Pull that tight, then pull that tight. Now I've completed two tucks all the way around. It's symmetrical again, so I, I can do the third tuck on this side now. Yeah? This is where people can make a mistake sometimes. If the second tuck, you've made a decision that this is the inboard strand on the left, this is the inboard strand on the right. right. For the next three tucks, that will stay the inboard strand. It will never become, or should never become, the outboard strand. This, we've made the decision at the second tuck that it's the outboard, and that's on the left side is the outboard. outboard. So for the next three tucks, it will stay on the outboard. So at no point should these ever get crossed over. Yeah? You know, you said you've made the decision after the second tuck. Yeah. If after the second tuck they switch, would you switch? Because your first tuck obviously yeah. is the double. Yeah. The second tuck is single. Singles, yeah. But do you not make the decision after your first tuck which one is inboard, which one is outboard? Or do you only make that after the second tuck, depending on where they're lying? Because you've come on the you, inboard with this one yeah. and the outboard with this one. Mm -hmm. So should it not follow up from there? Correct. So it's actually just after at the, the point, just before, that's the point at which you've made that decision just before you've actually put it through. But as soon as I've put that through as the inboard strand, that's it. That's it. It's never going to change, or it should never change. If it does when you do it, you're going to have to take it back out. Yeah. So where are we at? We're at the left now, third, third, uh, third tuck on the left. Thread in, inboard left, under the inboard left. Again, not too tight. Move it out of the way to the opposite side. Outboard, outboard left. Outboard left, pull that through tight, pull this through tight, and now onto the right, third tuck, inboard. inboard right, under a right, going to the right, not too tight, moving it out of the way, outboard right, outboard right, to the right, to the right, pull those two tight, third tuck complete on this side. Flip it over. We've only done two here. So what we would do now is do the third and the fourth, then tie them off. So we've done third and fourth there. Flip that back over. We can now then do the fourth and the fifth, and then we're finished on this side. And then finally flip it back over. And then we'd finish the fifth. Abby? Right, your turn. So get a Swedish fig and uh, a 